Sibling family. My name is Michael Sibling. This is my incredible wife, Hannah Sibling. And the charge that we've been given is he had compassion on them. In Matthew chapter 9, the Bible reads, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. And so we know right after this, Jesus sent out the very workers that they were praying for. But the driving force behind Jesus sending out the workers was compassion. What compassion means to have a deep care and concern for the needs of others. And guess what? To actually do something about it. Before Jesus fed the 5,000, the Bible says he had compassion on them. Before he fed the 4,000, he had compassion on them. Before Jesus healed the blind man, the Bible reads, Jesus had compassion on them. Do we have compassion for the lost souls in Phoenix and Albuquerque and San Diego and Tucson? See, compassion moves you to action. You can't say you're compassionate and do nothing with it. See, when you're compassionate, you look past the rejection, the persecution, the discouragement, and you share your faith anyway. When you're compassionate, it doesn't matter if you're tired, you do it anyway. And when you're compassionate, you share the gospel because that's the biggest need in the world today. And with that, I give you my wife. Amen. Amen. I think something that we can always overlook in this passage is how quickly Jesus had compassion on the people. He didn't sit with them, grab coffee, hear their life stories and their struggles, and then had compassion on them. The scripture says when he saw them, he had compassion on them. It was immediately. Right? So compassion is more than a feeling. It's not, oh, that is so sad. I'm so sorry. I feel bad for you. No. It needs to move us into action. All right? So sisters, I want to ask you, when you see a beautiful woman passing by, are you intimidated by her? Are you envious of her? Or are you moved to take action? Do you see past all of the things that she's going through? Do you look at her soul? Do you see that she needs God? Do you recognize that without Jesus, she is lost, harassed, and helpless? Without guidance, without protection, right? Mm. So ladies, I just want to encourage you to be women who is moved with compassion. Because that is Jesus, right? He was moved to compassion. So my challenge for you is simple. Every time you see a beautiful woman passing by, share faith with her. Simple. Let's be women who are moved with compassion. Glory to be God. Amen. So, family, the, the impact and the power of compassion is exponential. Notice the scripture did not say that all the disciples had compassion on the people. It says Jesus had compassion on the people. So a faithful Bible talk leader that's filled with compassion will have no problem calling with the rest of the Bible talk to be workers. And so show me a Bible talk that is not working. I'll show you a Bible talk leader that is not filled with compassion. And with that, I want to challenge you tonight. I want to challenge you to pray to be filled with compassion and do as Jesus called his Bible talk to do. It's you give them something to eat and to God be the glory. Amen.